Welcome back. In this one, we will continue off from the previous video, which was about the data module. And uh, we'll try to sort of restructure our code now so that it looks or is more modular and a bit cleaner. So uh, let's copy the thing. I will do five data module. Let's copy it to a new folder. Uh, let's call it restructuring. Uh, and let's open that folder up. All right, so we have our simple fully connected, right? And basically all of the code is in that one. Now, uh, that's not a good way to structure things. Uh, you know, the entire idea of Lightning is that we have things uh, modular and separate so that we have our, um, our training, our sort of data loading, our model and, and all of that. So um, we will try to uh, have that structure in this video. So we'll first we'll, we'll uh, do a train.py. We'll do a config.py, uh, a model.py, and a dataset.py. And that should hopefully be all that we need. So let's open up the simple fully connected that we've had. And I'll just split it here so that we'll uh, first do the, we can do the data set first. And here we'll try to just take the things that we need, right? And we'll go down. Uh, let's see, so we'll take this here, we'll just put it here. Now we're going to need the imports as well. I'm not exactly sure which imports we're going to need. So let's just put all of them in the beginning. All right, so we have now the, the data. Uh, let's uh, do one for the, uh, the model. So we'll take the model here, put it here, and we're gonna need the imports as well. So we we'll just copy paste all of that. And here we will open up the config. Now for the config, all that we'll put here is basically these things, right? Our hyperparameters and stuff. All right, so what will we actually put here? Uh, we can have some data set specific. We can have some compute related things, and maybe we can have, you know, training hyperparameters. And I like to put these capitalized um, just to have it sort of separate and know that these are the config uh, variables. So we'll do num classes here, we will do uh, learning rate, batch size and number of epochs here. All right, so let's remove this now. This is our training hyperparameters for our data set, we'll do our data directory, we'll just put it data set. I uh, will set num workers to four, and then we will have compute related stuff. So we will have a accelerator, which will be the GPU. We can set devices, we can I which can either be just single or sort of the number of GPUs, right? Two, four, so on, or we can specify them. So we'll just do zero for a single GPU now. Precision, we can set 16. Uh, and I think that's it for our config. Now we should probably also have one separate for our metrics. Now we, you know, we don't, we aren't gonna use this one, right? Because it's already, we already have it implemented. So we can, I think, remove this and we'll just modify our file for the model here and we'll remove my accuracy and just use this one instead. So we can do, let's see where we have my accuracy. We'll change this to just accuracy. All right, um, let's see now. So we should have it a lot better structured now. Uh, th these things are the trainer, right? So I guess we could just move this uh, and do train here. And we could copy paste all of this right here. or we could just change the name, but whatever. So there we go. All right, so hopefully now we've maintained the same functionality, but we will be able to do from model import NN, from our data set import MNIST data module. And in this way we can, I guess, remove some of these things right here. We're gonna, not gonna need them. Uh, I guess all of these maybe, uh, this one as well, but we can have torch imported. So uh, I guess also we could do if name equals main here. It's a good thing to use. 
and we'll put all of this inside there. All right, cool. I'm actually not sure if this is going to run now. So we can do uh, ls python 6 restructuring uh, train.py. Right, now we don't actually have our config. So we'll do import config. Uh, and we'll do input size is config dot input size config dot num classes config dot uh, batch size and then config dot num wor num workers oh that's not right num workers capitalized and data directory will do config dot data directory cool and then we'll set these as well the accelerator should be config.accelerator, config.devices. I guess these ones, min epochs and stuff, they should actually also be in the config, but uh, let's just keep it like this for now. All right, config.precision. Uh, is there anything else now? Uh, I mean, one thing we should be using uh, in the model is also a learning rate. Um, so, I mean, we should be sending in uh, a learning rate here. Uh, so we can actually modify our model for that. Let's see. So here we should send in a learning rate. And we'll do self dot learning rate is equal to learning rate. And that is what we'll use here right now. It's hard coded. So this is not the best. So that learning rate like this. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's go to back to our train. And one thing we could do also now is maybe clean up the imports. But before we do that, let's see that it actually runs. Cool. So it's running and uh, we can check that it's doing the right thing. It seems to be the exact same functionality that we did in the previous video, which is nice. So let's see what we're actually I mean, this one we can actually remove. Uh, right. We're not using that anymore. So we have config, data set, model, train. Uh, this is the sort of basic structure I like to have. Uh, and then you can add additional for metrics. And you know if you're doing a lot of callbacks, uh, which we're going to go into next video. So uh, you know we'll add that probably in a separate folder. Uh, or we just keep it in the train. We'll see. All right, so in the config here, let's see what we want to do. Uh, here, we're not using all of these things, right? I should probably have a plugin to see which ones are not used here. I don't think we're using TQDM. And I don't think we're using metrics here. So I think those can probably be removed. There are probably some unnecessary imports here, to be honest, but uh, it's a probably okay. Yeah, you would most likely have a plugin or like, what is it called flake? eight or something you can see all the unnecessary imports okay all right so we'll we'll just keep it this way and i guess one more thing we could do is go back uh we could do pip install black because it's nice to format stuff so we can do black dot boom all files are formatted now if we open up model again we can see it's nicely formatted nothing are outside the uh sort of the line length and all of that stuff, right? So this is, we can see this has been formatted, looks a bit, a bit cleaner and nicer. And yeah. All right, that was a pretty quick video uh, just to restructure the code. And then uh, we'll introduce callbacks in the next one.